A useful quantum computer needs to operate with less than 1% probability of error. And this includes the probability of error in preparing the initial code, the starting point of the computation, which remarkably is often the hardest part. In my group, we have found a clever way to reduce 20-fold the error probability in preparing the state of a quantum bit by using a method that is resembling a very old idea from the 19th century called the Maxwell's Demon. The Maxwell's Demon was a fictitious creature that had the capacity to observe and make instantaneous decision using a gas divided between two parts of a box. So the demon was so smart and so capable of observing individual particles of gas that he could, for example, see that a very cold, which means very slow particle, was coming towards this door and decide to open the door and let it go from left to right. Whereas if a hot particle was making its way towards the door, he could shut the door and make the particle bounce back and stay on the left. So at the end, after doing it for some time, we would have all the hot particles on the left and all the cold particles on the right. What we have done is something similar, but with a quantum bit. Our quantum bit is the spin of an individual electron held by a phosphorus atom inside a silicon chip. That spin encodes the quantum information and it has a high energy state, the hot state, if you will. Let's call it the one. And the low energy state, let's call it the zero. And what we want to achieve is to prepare the zero state with very little chance of error. This brown trace here is the signal from a tiny transistor that detects whether or not an electron jumps onto the atom. When the signal is high, there is no electron on the atom. When the signal is low, there is an electron on the atom. Now, what we want to do is to take an electron and make sure it stays there for a long enough time that we are sure there is a very cold electron. And now you see it running in real time, but I can pause it. And now see what happened. We took the electron, that electron was a hot one. It escaped, was replaced again, escaped again, was replaced again, and then after the demon had made the decision, this is a long enough stretch of time without the electron escaping, this is a good electron in the zero state for us to do a high fidelity quantum computation.